force on a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field. Introduction Current carrying conductor produces magnetic field around it. This field exerts its magnetic force on the magnet placed near it. Andre Marie Ampere, a French scientist, suggested that the magnet must apply equal and opposite force on the conductor. Let us prove this experimentally. Experiment Take a small aluminium rod, AB. Connect its two ends, A and B, with connecting wires and suspend it horizontally using stand. Take a horse shoe magnet and align it vertically such that its magnetic field is directed in upward direction. Place this magnet near conductor rod such that the rod is located between the two poles as shown in figure. Connect aluminium rod in series with battery, key and rheostat. Now press the key so as to allow the current flow. Observations If the direction of current is from B to A, then it is observed that rod is displaced towards left. And if the direction of current is from A to B, then rod is displaced towards right. This experiment shows that if current carrying conductor is placed in external magnetic field, then it experiences a magnetic force. With this experiment, it is also observed that the direction of force acting on conductor depends on direction of magnetic field and direction of current. When the direction of current is at right angle to direction of magnetic field, then force acting on conductor is maximum and is in the direction perpendicular to current as well as magnetic field. Fleming's left hand rule It states that stretch the forefinger, middle finger and thumb such that they are mutually perpendicular to each other. If forefinger points in direction of magnetic field and middle finger in the direction of current, then thumb will point in the direction of the force acting on the conductor. That is, direction of motion of conductor.